Welcome to the ninth episode of Vault Log, a series all about Fallout Shelter, and in this episode I'm going to be showing you guys some ideas for future updates I'd like to see added to the game. Overall, I've got five update ideas, and let's kick things off by taking a look at the Junk Exchange update. So, as you know, in Fallout Shelter you'll end up collecting a lot of junk, and certain types of junk are going to start piling up more than others, and those are usually the ones that you're not using for crafting. For instance, I have a ton of military duct tape that I just don't use, and I'd like to be able to exchange that for something like a circuit board, which I use regularly for crafting vengeances and dragon's maws. Now, I'm not certain about the specifics of the trade ratio, but I think this idea would really help the crafting process and alleviate storage space issues. Moving on to update number two, the Wasteland Casino, I think it would be a great idea to have a weekly quest that allowed us to go to an abandoned casino where we could spin slot machines for a chance at junk, weapons, and other gear. Now these slot machines could be divided between common, rare, and legendary items and could each have their respective cap prices. And in particular, I think this would be a great addition for people that have reached endgame and are hovering around that million cap limit, since you don't really have anything to do with your caps at that point, and this could be a good sink for that currency. Moving on to update number three, Mr. Handy Upgrades. And as you know, Mr. Handy has quite a few functions, but I think that all of them could use a bit of an upgrade, and he could also use some new features as well. Now when we take a look at his features, I think that the one that could use the most help is his incident fighting. I think if he got a boost to that, he would be seen as much more of a valuable asset around the vault. Now as far as a new feature goes, I think that a crafting time reduction for any floor that has a Mr. Handy roaming around on it would be a really nice addition. And last but not least, I think that a wasteland junk carrying capacity would be a great bonus for Mr. Handy because right now we can only collect 5,000 caps in the wasteland and being able to collect some legendary junk would be a great addition to the crafting process. Let's move on to update number four, cross save functionality. Now being able to play Fallout Shelter at 4K 60 frames a second on a 27 inch monitor is an amazing experience, but out of convenience I actually play it on my tablet a lot. Now I think that being able to take my save from the PC and upload it to the tablet and vice versa is an essential feature for this game and it's actually one I thought was going to come out when the initial PC port came out. Right now, if you start a new vault on the PC or tablet, you have to start from the very beginning, and I think that being able to transfer your progress would be an amazing step for this game. And last, but certainly not least, we have update number 5, a Steam release. I think that Fallout Shelter has a lot of potential for the Steam marketplace. Right now, we can get it on the Bethesda Net launcher, but really, who wants to download another developer-specific client just to play one game that they're interested in? I think that Bethesda is actually really limiting this game's potential by having it on their specific launcher, and I think a Steam release would be great for the Fallout Shelter community. So, what do you guys think about these update ideas, and which one would you be the most interested in seeing implemented into the game? Also, be sure to leave your own ideas in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching all the Vault Log episodes. We've got quite a few out now. You can see all of them in the Vault Log playlist. And again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.